During this short meditation, you are simply going to breathe love into yourself. Close your eyes. Relax your jaw and your shoulders. Let your breathing come calmly, gently, easily. Breathe in love. You are loved for yourself. You are accepted. You are loved for your uniqueness and your heart, the beauty of your soul. There is only the love drawn into you with each breath, glittering through your veins like light. You are completely lovable, beautiful in your own right. Let the love sweep down and fill you up from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. It is shining in you, healing, radiant. Breathe in and accept the unconditional and perfect love. It is yours. You are loved. What did Jesus say? Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'd like to talk to you about sustainability. That's a big, long word. So what is sustainability? The word sustainability has many meanings. Maintain, support, endure, withstand. It most commonly means maintaining the world we live in. The main idea is that we must act responsibly so that resources on the planet will be able to support many generations to come. There are a limited amount of resources on Earth which are exploited every day to produce houses, cars, computers and pretty much everything. Sustainability means to maintain these resources forever. Our actions have a deep impact on the environment and we need to protect it for the future generations. If you want to figure out if something is sustainable, you should ask yourself the question, can I do this forever? Let's take a look at the product plastic to understand this better. Plastic was introduced in the early 1990s and is a mass-produced item today. We use plastic for everything from food containers to lamps, toys, bottles, bags and much more. Plastic takes millions of years to decompose. So what happens to all this plastic after we finish using it? We end up with large amounts of plastic that is just taking up space on Earth. So now we have to ask, can I do this forever? The answer is no. Plastic is just one example of unsustainable consumption. Here are a few ways that your actions can contribute to sustainability. Lifestyle. Your lifestyle is your choice and you can change it. Always carry your own cloth bag when you go to the grocery store. Avoid plastic bags. Fixing. If your watch, toy or camera is broken, don't just buy a new one. Try and fix it. Recycle. Be conscious about the things around you. Maybe you can reuse some of them. Needs versus wants. Before you buy something, ask yourself the question, do I need it or do I want it? Remember, sustainability begins with you. So act locally and think globally.
And boys and girls, here's a challenge for you. Can you find out some other products that are highly unsustainable? Christians believe that God created the world and everything in it. This quote is from the book Genesis 1.31. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. We live in a beautiful world and it's really important that we look after it because we only get one earth. Christians and those of many other faiths believe that God is faithful. He's created a sustainable world and he believes in sustainable relationships as well as making a special effort to treat one another in a way that builds good friendships. Let's treat the world with care as well. And I introduced you last week to this quote from Corinthians 16, 14. Let all that you do be done in love. And that goes for the people that we're with, but the world we live in as well. Let all that you do be done in love. And let's reflect on everything we've heard today about sustainability. And if you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's Amen at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame or you can put your hands and your eyes together. Dear God, we thank you that you don't give up on anyone. You are the perfect example of sustainability. You built the world to last. You build relationships to last. Help us to not treat people as things. Help us to take care of all that you have given us. Help us to take care of our family, our friends and the world we live in. Amen. Well, that concludes our collective worship for today. Remember, work hard, be kind, look after yourselves, and I'll see you around school.